The Invisible Man by H. G. Wells Chapter Number 6 The Furniture That Went Man Very interesting. The title of the chapter seems to be And let us see who the characters are. The characters in this chapter are Mr. and Mrs. Hall and of course our protagonist the stranger and let us see how the furniture goes mad so when we look at chapter number six and uh, compare it to chapter number four it is basically a longer chapter and it contains very very significant events which will take the story to a different level it will add a twist to the complete story so what happens um, we first look at the time the time is the same as that of the burglary that had taken place at the vicarage so um, the time is the same and hence you will have to link the events of chapter number 5 which we have done previously to the events in chapter number 6. So the burglary uh, that had taken place at the vicarage and the place in this episode is the inn uh, because Mr. and Mrs. Hall are the characters. So what happens around the same time very early in the morning if you remember it was 4 a.m. Mr. Hall notices that the front door of the inn is open the front door of the inn is open and also the door of the stranger's room is open. It is pretty strange for him because the stranger does not go out of his room much. So now very early in the morning both the rooms are uh, both the doors are open. So he calls Mrs. Hall and Mr. and Mrs. Hall they go upstairs to investigate the matter what is happening and if you remember that the room of the stranger is upstairs and the parlor and the sitting of the inn is downstairs so they go upstairs to see what is going on firstly they hear the sound of the front door opening and closing while they are moving upstairs they hear both of these sounds secondly they hear the sound of a sneeze so two sounds and yet what is significant is that they see no one they are able to see no one just like what had happened to Mr. and Mrs. Bunting and then when they peep inside the strangers room they find that everything in his room is scattered it means it is lying here and there the whole room is in a mess and yet the room is empty the stranger is not there so the stranger is not there and yet the room is pretty up and down his clothes his bandages his hat you know these things are lying on the bed on the chair and it is a complete mess so uh, this is strange and the, um, what happens next is stranger still the clothes and everything start to gather themselves up which means that they start to collect and move by themselves which means nobody is doing this and yet it is happening as if by some magic right in front of their eyes this is unbelievable to them and the hat is also seen 
flying about the room by itself and if this was not enough the strangest thing happens the most shocking thing happens what happens the chair which was lying in the room lifts up in the air and suddenly it charges at mrs hall she is if you can imagine the situation she is completely shocked she is terrified at what is happening to her her own furniture which is lying in her own room it is suddenly flying about and it is also attacking her both of them both of them we mean mr and mrs hall are pushed out of the room and all this while the room is empty so everything is happening by itself they are pushed out of the room and the door is bolted from inside the door is bolted from inside and everything happens in an empty room you can imagine what the situation of these two people must be how shocked